my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about the easiest secret to marketing online what's the easiest secret what's the secret you know of all the secrets out there of how to build your audience what's the easiest secret and that works obviously right a secret that everybody knows but nobody tells you what is that secret so we're going to get into that and we're going to explain what I'm talking about in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right easiest secret the easiest secret isn't always the easiest to actually put in place but it's the easiest to understand and if you follow this secret that I'm about to reveal to you you definitely will get the results and I'm going to show you a little bit more in just a second but before I get into it I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video because I'm going to be sharing my screen I'll be showing you things and the blog post and you want to go check that out at cis386 jsgagnon.com go check it out to uh, see the video and the blog post all right so let's get right to it secrets when we talk about secrets it's one of those buzzwords that marketing people like to use right a secret a secret a secret something that you know other people know but you don't know and you know it's like oh my god I want to know I want to know what is that secret right what's the secret and there's so many secrets right there's so many secrets especially if you see behind me I've got a Russell Brunson's books he talks about the secrets of everything's a secret right and I guess that's one of the marketing tactics that is used a lot today but I want to I want to tell you a secret a secret that's <laughs> that's it's kind of ridiculous you're going to be like well yeah I knew that but you're not going to yeah I, I really I'm I'm kind of amazed at the kinds of results that that can give you and why does it actually work right so before I reveal this secret and there you go you know I'm just like you know inching towards it before I reveal the secret I want you to know that this secret is not going to make you millions tomorrow this secret is not going to make you a household name in a day it's not going to make you you know a, a top earner right away it's it's something that is <clears throat> kind of you got to think long term but it's something that you got to do if you don't do it you're going to struggle with lots of other things all right so before I get into that let me share my screen and kind of show you the kinds of things that it helps me get right so if I go back to here you know what's the easiest secret to marketing online I mean this secret will give you after a while you know for like I have 4,000 friends on Facebook I've got 11,000 followers on Twitter I've got 15,000 where's the where's the where's the number of uh where's the number I guess 15,000 followers on LinkedIn right I've got 4,000 followers on Instagram I've got 2,000 followers on TikTok I mean I'm not saying that that is going to make a difference having this many and this is one of the things right one of the things they talk about is growing your audience building your audience you know getting more people to see your stuff obviously that's that makes a difference and this secret that I'm going to talk about is kind of tied to um having content that people can see because if you don't post any content the secret I'm going to reveal will not make any difference if you don't have any way for people to actually see what you're about this is not going to help right um okay let's see now <laughs> uh, it's same thing with a uh, with an uh, email list I got a thousand subscribers on my email on one of my lists I've got like over here I've got tons of lists but um I don't know if there's a way in a in a Weber to see the total number oh yeah I guess you see it down here right I got 300 what is that oh that's total 300 272 here 34 there 11 there you know 10 100 so it's a thousand total I guess that's what they do they give you a total of but the real total I guess is 300 or so because most of these lists um I get them subscribed to my introduction as well so it's really the 300 which you know doesn't seem like a, it's not a big number but still you know look I sent this email out I got 18 percent um uh, to open the email 
16 percent here so that's pretty good right to have uh these numbers on the number of opens normally above 10 above 15 is definitely good and it's not consistent just so you know I sometimes I send out emails and I get only like five percent open rate <clears throat> but it depends on the marketing of emails right anyways that's that's beside the point okay so let's just go to go to this little notes I want to write in here what is the easiest secret to marketing online so uh, you know if you're going to okay before let's just say before I reveal reveal the secret and you know what I might not reveal the secret oh I guess we're past we're past the max <laughs> we're past if if you're watching this right now that's because you're watching the full video because on all the platforms I post a five minute video or even a one minute video or is it two minutes I think it's I'm not sure but anyways I uh, I think it's a one minute video maybe not anyways or two minutes on Twitter so that means that if you're watching this right now that means you've gone to my blog post and you're watching the full video and we're going to get into this maybe you've read the blog post and you already know what the secret is but before I reveal a secret here in the video or in the long form audio I want you to know the the that that you need certain things certain things to make this secret whoops I should probably do this like this make certain things to make this secret actually work right so if I mean if you're not doing these other things this secret won't even matter it won't even do anything it's it's got to be combined with other things that have to be done all right so these are the things that you need to do first you need to be posting content uh regularly okay so if you're not posting content regularly this secret won't really have any kind of uh impact um but you know if you're posting content regularly it can be pretty much any kind of content there has to be some talk so posting content regularly that that can be every day or at least once a week all right so you have to be posting every day or at least one, if not every day then at least once a week and this can be um, your choice your choice of platform uh, but I use I focus focus on Facebook okay so you can be using Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter or all these other platforms and this secret will still work um but my experience is with Facebook right so I mean I I have more experience with Facebook because I focus on Facebook for this and I definitely recommend Facebook for lots of reasons uh, for this particular kind of, of 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 a process if you will right the process that I'm going to be going through and you know like I said what the secret is uh but uh, yeah so you got to be doing okay the other thing you got to be doing as well is uh well actually that's pretty much it well maybe you have to you should you should have a profile that um lets people know know what whoops know what you're about if whoops if <coughs> they check your profile right so I mean that what that means is that if you're uh say if you're on Instagram if you're on LinkedIn uh, on those platforms you want to have a profile that you know if somebody goes and checks your profile out that they they get a feel for what you're about you know it's not um uh so they know a little bit about you they know a little bit about maybe your company your product not not too much I will I can get into that a little bit maybe depending on how much time I get or where the 10 minute mark well nine minute mark but that's uh yeah so you should have something and I'll kind of maybe give you some uh, examples right of what I'm I mean by that now the the next thing uh there was something else I was thinking about what is it it's also that you need to let's move this up this way um you also need to uh what's the what was it that I had to um I forget oh my god that's uh let's uh that's kind of that's kind of awful right if I forget like this oh yeah I remember okay it's having an offer that is clear so so having an offer that's clear so you must you must have an a clear offer a clear offer so 
the one thing is one of the ways to look at it the one thing um clear offer for the target market you are um targeting right focusing on focusing on right so I mean you have to have an offer that you can eventually offer because if you don't have an offer then you know what's what's the purpose of marketing right you need to be marketing something and you could be marketing all sorts of different things but if you want to really succeed you got to find one thing and when we talk about the one thing if you look up there's a whole bunch of other online training and all that but the important thing is that you decide what that one thing is and you focus on it now there's all sorts of other things you can do you can have a value ladder you can have a, a funnel you can have all sorts of tools everything else all those things you know can help um but they're not they're not part of this easiest secret that I'm going to be revealing right okay so what is this secret and how do you use it how do you benefit from it how do you why why does it give you results like if I look at um well if I look I don't know if I can show you here let me see let me see if I go back to the webcam just to, for a second I just want to see if I have um if I have any uh anything I can show you for something here I want to just look for <coughs> it's loading up it's not the quickest thing obviously I've got this over here but I want to go look for uh, okay so let's just look for new lead notification okay, so there let me show you that no I guess it's showing me these things here okay let's just say <coughs> I just want to show you just certain a certain something here there we go okay so there so now <laughs> okay let me just show you this this is a platform I'm involved in uh go back to my webcam screen and webcam so this is one of the things right so I mean obviously as a business uh you want to have leads showing up all the time now these are I mean there's dates here right 2 17 a.m December 14th December 12th 11th 9th 8th 4th then there's a number right here right seven of them on that day five of them four of them 18 11 so that's that's new leads that going that are going into my Aweber going into my um, CRM as well and this this secret will grow, get there eventually you know this is for me these leads are all coming from to be honest I don't even know how they're coming but I know that it's because of something I did a while ago that I set something up and now it's just for some reason all of a sudden Google is showing it or something I'm not I'm actually not sure because these are all leads for one of the offers I made about a uh, geez two years ago actually and that is something that's still being attracting people to give me their emails and joining my list right so that's that's one of the things so this secret will get you there too and uh, like I said it's been two years and these leads I don't know how many can we see uh I don't know when they really started see this February um and maybe that's I guess that's there's more than that but um there's more than that but um but that's kind of like where we are the where I am now okay so what <laughs> okay what's the secret right you want to know what's the secret you want to know you want to know what the secret is right I will tell you okay so the secret okay well let me just kind of word it the way that okay what is the secret so what is the secret what is the secret right <laughs> okay so the secret and you're going to be like oh my god that's ridiculous but you know what it's so important that you do this so the secret is um uh I I want to say it's tracking that's the secret tracking <coughs> now that's the that's the basis of the secret why do I say it's simple well because it's easy to track right it's easy but it's work that doesn't seem to give us any kind of results in the short term right 
it's something that takes a while to do any kind of results and there's lots of reasons why tracking is the most important thing so tracking like what do you track right but tracking okay but tracking whoops tracking of what right that's the real secret what do you track <coughs> what do you track and how do you do it now there's lots of different ways to track things there's pixels and Facebook right to put on websites and blog posts and things like that there's um there well there's you know uh, tracking metrics pixels if you will from you know Pinterest from uh, from in, from uh TikTok from Instagram from 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 LinkedIn from Twitter um and you can use Google Analytics and put that in your website and all that you can track that right but the thing is that those tracking they're not can I really help you that much because it's not tied to you taking direct action on a day-to-day -day basis right so when I talk about tracking I want to okay so what do what tracking of what right tracking of okay who did you engage engage with right who did you engage with today right who did you engage with today what else you want to see who <coughs> did you um who did you or how much let's just say how much how much did you engage with them right so so what is it like you know list the pro the people or profiles right so for example if you're on Facebook which like I said I'm I'm focused on Facebook you can do it on any platform so you want to you want to know okay today I I engage on these five or ten profiles right and you gotta you gotta keep track of that and when do I say it's simple is because it is simple it's just a lot of work to actually do it and keep track and organize and everything but we're gonna kind of cover that or get into that a little bit but that's the thing so who did you engage with today right so <clears throat> who did you and this is the thing if you don't track that that's and that you know until now I I never really tracked it myself I um I would just you know go to Instagram and like and comment and follow like 20 50 people whatever and then I would go to LinkedIn I would comment and like on a few things and I would go to TikTok and like picture and like videos and then I would go to to Twitter and like a few posts and then I would go to Facebook and like and comment on a few things whatever I do it all over the place and you know that does it does you know it does does have a, a little impact because there's some people that maybe you engage with more that you didn't before and they start to see you and whatever but the thing is that you're if you're not tracking it um you don't know we'll get into that in a second okay so list of people of profiles you gotta track the list okay so now what what's the other thing <clears throat> how much did you engage with on them right so how many comments or reactions reacts right so how many comments or reacts on those people because and the reason why you need to know that is because on any of the social media platforms no matter how many reactions you engage on you want to know <coughs> that they you know what well it's be, okay it's because after a certain number of interactions with them they're ready to hear from you if you're just finding them on Facebook in a group right which lots of lots of marketers explain how to do that they'd say okay go to find go in groups go find you know and, and they all say you know engage in the group and get to be known and all this stuff and like if we're talking Facebook group strategies right but you know you you know as well as I do we're all impatient we're like I'm just gonna go message you know whoever I see in the group that's posting about whatever that's related to what I'm trying to sell right so you just message these people or you comment on their stuff right away and you just try to get a conversation try to get them to see your stuff <clears throat> and it backfires because they don't know you they're not interested in hearing from somebody they don't know right but if you engage with their stuff often enough they will see you in their notifications so they so they see you in their notifications 
they see you in their notifications when they look on face when you look on Facebook you see notifications from from people that regularly show up in your notifications you start to be curious about those people right and you start to potentially go check them out maybe you even send them a friend request maybe you even send them a message because they're regularly commenting on your stuff right so that's what happens when you do that when you're regularly engaging on their stuff <clears throat> and that and the thing is that as you engage on their stuff right as you engage on their stuff they start to notice you and they start to wonder who you are so after a certain amount of time <clears throat> and the amount of time right the amount of time the number of notifications the number of engagements you do and all these different things they'll vary and I'm still working on on figuring out whether it's three whether it's ten you know what are the numbers I know that in the in the marketing space the traditional number is seven to ten exposures they call them exposures right that means that a person needs to see you or your message seven to ten times before they're even open to hearing about it so if they just see you in there and the and the thing is that lots of the strategy out there they focus on getting your your posts in their feed and there's ways to kind of help that happen by engaging by doing all sorts of things on the platform to kind of make your content be a content that's shown um and so that's one way to get your message in front of them by being in their feed right but I'm I'm talking about getting them to see you in their notifications now if they see you in their notifications and then they go and engage on your stuff they eventually see your stuff in their feed as well right but that isn't going to give them as much <laughs> feel good than if they see you in their notification because it's important for them to like you right you know about the no like trust factor that's what you're trying to build here you're trying to build a no like trust factor so that they are interested in hearing your message so as they see you in their notifications all the time then they're gonna they're gonna start to be interested so now this is <laughs> and this is what happens right so after a certain number of engage engagements you can contact them right so after a certain number of engagements you can contact them but if you're not tracking how do you know that you've reached that number right and this is what the tracking does that's like I said it's really simple but then okay so how do you keep track of all that right you use an excel spreadsheet you use a, a google sheet and you paste everything and you take an extra you know you like it might take you an extra 15 minutes just to well more than that I'd say I don't know because I <clears throat> I've been wanting to do that but I've always resisted oh my god it's gonna take way too long I can't I can't do that I can't be you know engaging and then going like especially like I'm on social I'm, I'm on Facebook right so what do I do I use a CRM like I mean I have a and this is like I said I showed you this list here right I have a CRM here I could go to this here let's show you that <clears throat> I've got a platform that I'm yeah, that I'm part of a, a community as well right it's called my lead system pro they basically have so every time somebody um I'm just gonna log in here and I'll show you what the <clears throat> what's there but basically the platform keeps track of every single one of these people that are added to my list right so if I go to my prospects here my CRM I'm <coughs> sorry if I go to this uh, CRM page I can see right here that I've gotten you know 20 in the last seven days 104 and then one today so far and whatever and this is the list of them and I can go to my prospects right here and I can start to use this I can even use this to you know go and add notes and whatever if I go on this this guy's thing Eve right here whoops uh right here if I go to this guy I can come in here and I can add notes I can you know add a note I can say uh sent or reacted to to five to three posts right I can I can do that I can start to keep track of that and to me it's like it seems like a lot of work but this might be a good way to do it right um and that's that's one of the ways to 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 do that right you go in and you keep track so like I said it's tracking right that's the secret is tracking you got to be tracking what you're doing why do you got to be tracking because you want to know when you can contact them 
if you're not tracking you don't know when you can contact me you're guessing right maybe maybe you just go by memory you're like oh I've seen this person a lot I've engaged on a lot of their stuff and they've sent me a friend request and I see them engaging on my stuff maybe I'll contact them and you know that's kind of what I was doing and that sort of works right because your memory if you remember them a lot then chances are you did engage with them a lot right and they did engage with you but <laughs> the other thing is you end up being in like the friend zone right the dreaded friend zone you're in the zone of oh I like this guy I like this person but you're nowhere in the business zone and you know it's kind of I say friend zone like like a like a relationship right but it's kind of the same thing right you end up in the friend zone so whenever you talk to them they're like not even thinking about business or how you can help them with their stuff because <coughs> they've grown <coughs> they've grown to you know knowing you the as a person as a friend or whatever and then now they're not really open to business with you right so you got to make sure you don't get to the friend zone don't get to the friend zone so and how do you really how do you prevent that you know there's probably I don't know there's probably a number and that's something I'll probably eventually test myself is you know maybe after seven interactions uh it's time to reach out and tell them about the business that you you have for them right the kinds of things that they can they can whatever you're selling whatever you're offering <laughs> and maybe after 20 interactions it's too late now you're a friend right they think you're cool but they have no clue what you're about right <coughs> so I mean yeah so that's so as uh so tracking helps you with all that so now you can so now how do you know right how do you know how many interactions and this and that whatever if you were to use something like a, a CRM like like my Lisa Spro here right if I was to use that and I was to start putting in notes then I would be able to go into here and I would be able to identify them as you know okay sent more than seven more than eight whatever and I could count right how many interactions when I look at I would I don't know I I haven't used this to do that lots of people say it's important to use a CRM to keep track of your interactions with people and everything else uh but to be honest doing it manually for me wasn't wasn't gonna work for me I I I don't have enough time in a day I want to really really focus my attention on 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 doing the engagement and I want something else to figure out how much engagement I've done right so this is why this is why I created a tool right you you must have seen that right you must have seen in my feed right I talked about this right are you tracking your interactions right for example this is one of the posts I did on this tool uh, I talked about well click ecourse is something else but if I go through my feed here I talk about it once in a while and I'm not talking about it a lot but uh here it is again right here I did a demo of it here right <coughs> and then I talk about other things and whatever but the thing is that this tool is the beginning of it and this tool right now is not um is not doing everything I want it to do yet but it will and right now it's really a, a really great tool where I'm I have to enter information so let's let's just kind of show you what it kind of looks like so first if I go in here I load it up it's a chrome extension I give it a group of uh, a group a list of um of groups uh, that I want to go uh, find people in it starts with that it starts with finding people to engage with right so finding who do you engage with you can engage with people on your feed sure but if you want to really get the right people you gotta find new people regularly right so this is kind of what this tool lets you do now once you have the data once you've scraped the data and you've got the list of people then we get, end up with a um <clears throat> we end up with a list here let's just let let it load up here we end up with a list of people that you know that that I that have posted and commented and everything else right so if I look at this list you can see there's numbers here right these numbers are basically if I if I look at some of these so these numbers right are kind of telling me that this is when I uh and uh, actually let's go back to the top here you see how it's R C F P F. so those are the reactions the comments the uh pms private messages and whether and whether there was a friend request sent or not 
and this is visits number of visits to their profile so I see these ones is just one but I see these are two these are then there's uh, one and two and two and four and ten over here right so if I mouse over these it shows me the dates of when I actually in, uh, visited their profile and then over here is the number of interactions the number of uh comments the number or is it the reactions I forget which is first is it anyways whatever shows you the dates of those and as as I use the tool more and more I'm recording this and you can see this little little uh floating red box here that kind of shows me that I visited 22 profiles today I did 53 reactions I did 45 comments and it kind of lets me keep track of that so that I can see on a you know normally I do about 20 to 30 profiles right I do 30 I guess 40 reactions 25 so now the next step is figuring out which of these profiles are the ones that I've interacted enough to actually reach out to them now I can look at I can just look at this list like this I can actually sort it if I want to sort it by the visits I can just click on that that to show it by visits it'll take a, a minute there to load up and sort it for me and uh and that lets me see okay well the ones that I've visited at least you know seven times it's reverse so I'll just scroll to the bottom instead of because you can sort it the other way out too so you can see right here I've got Stephanie Odin here that I visited nine times and Welly Mulia that I visited five times block drive five big so I could I could go to these people's profiles so the way it works is I let's say I just go to this person's profile I can see all the visits right I can see all the reactions I can see all the comments I can see that I and the, and the thing is that this uh, the, the the tracking of the the reactions and comments is rel is newer that's why we don't see more than we don't see as many days as this right because normally I would have recorded how many interactions and reactions and all that on all these other days and they would show up here right but because I this new feature came in just recently that's not showing up but the point is that now I know that I've been visiting this person's profile commenting and reacting on her stuff for like um almost two months now since October well it is two months two months and a half so now if I went to her profile right if I went to her profile and I actually uh wanted to I could send her a message and say hey you know what I've been uh seeing your content and you you have great content you're doing great things and I'm just wondering would you like to whatever it is that I'm offering right I can have a just a message I can just send her a message and I can say that I might have already done that uh, no I guess I didn't but I, that definitely would be somebody that I would send a message to and that's kind of what this tool lets me do it lets me keep track of what I'm doing and how many reactions and how many posts and how many comments well not posts how many comments how many reactions that I did on their post knowing that whenever I do that it shows up in their notifications and they see my face there and they see that I reacted and commented and lots of them they they, they comment on my comment and I, I react on their uh, comment on my comment sometimes I even add another comment so it adds to the interaction right and the, the thing is the secret is growing that interaction so that you can then know when to reach out and they're going to be open to hearing from you that's the secret the secret is tracking and and that gives you the real secret of knowing and like I said it's a it's an easy secret it's easy to do because it's just abc right but it's a lot it's a it is work if you're going to do it manually it's a lot of work and you can do it manually in a shit spreadsheet or even on paper or whatever way you want to do it in a crm <clears throat> it's possible I can do all that or you can use a tool to help you and you can use the tool like active group user so you can do you can do this manually in a crm or with the simple tool active group users chrome extension right so if you go and you just search for that active group users chrome extension go ahead and search that on on Google let's do that in here you can see that there's a bunch of things showing up here set up a uh, home of active group users extension there's the Chrome extension Chrome tabs I don't know there's a 
how to use active anyways you can just go to activegroupusers.com too to go get it but yeah so that's kind of the secret that's the secret tracking keep tracking track your stuff right track your stuff and you're going to be able to get to this point where you have all these leads all these <laughs> interactions right go and get a tool and start tracking the secret is tracking all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions don't hesitate go ahead and reach out I'll be happy to help you with any questions you have have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.